I'm going to sit by the fire here for a few minutes and talk about an area of concern that I think is a big concern to people that love the outdoors and love to be out in nature as much as we do. Um, one of the biggest things I think that I deal with with people is when they realize that I'm involved in wildlife management, they're very concerned about the taking of animals or harming animals in any way. And I'm glad they are because there was a time when they were so badly abused that well, what we're faced with now is a, a situation where the animals have, are running out of habitat because of the changes and the things that we've done to the earth. A lot of people don't even consider us a part of nature, uh, humans, that is. And uh, we're such a big part of nature that we've actually changed the whole face of the earth. And in doing that, we've had a profound effect on the habitat and the lives of other beings. And we see a lot of that. And I think that a lot of people don't realize that. They aren't aware of what's actually happening. They, they see a huge open area of bush and they can't conceive that there's not enough area there for the amount of animals. But what happens is that each animal, whatever type of animal it is, needs to have a certain amount of what we call habitat. And I think you know what habitat is. It's available space, food, water, shelter, the things that they need for survival. And those are diminishing rapidly as we build out more and more out into the uh, waste places as they're called or the bush, we're taking a lot of that away. So the effect on the animals is such that as they continue to reproduce and have their young, we run out of habitat, we run out of area for them. And uh, they don't have enough of the available food, so they're in total competition with each other. So unbeknownst to most people, a lot of these animals are dying of disease and starvation. And to go in and have to control diseased animals is not a pretty picture. And it saddens my heart. I don't like doing any part of it, but it's a necessary part of what I do. And uh, so what I'm suggesting in all of this is that sometimes those that manage wildlife are often looked as the outlaws, when in actuality, if they weren't there to help take the surplus of animals off, they'd be dying of disease and starvation, and I'm sure uh, you wouldn't want to see any of that yourself. And uh, we have changed the way we think a great deal. And I think Angela's generation uh, is probably not even aware of uh, some of the basic things that I grew up with, just in the way we handle meat and the way we eat and things like that. Yeah, I can definitely vouch for the fact that a lot of people my age or around my age, they don't really know what's happening. They don't really think about when they eat meat or anything, something, something had to die for them to eat that. I mean, I, I can sit and be talking with one of my friends and they can tell me how mean they think it is that I'll go out and, you know, snare the cute little rabbit or I'll, you know, anything like that and they'll be biting into their hamburger as they're saying this. And I, I just think that because we don't have to kill to eat anymore, it's, it's really changed the way that we think. People, people don't think about killing and they don't like to think about animals having to die. And I just, I think it's a big concern. I mean, the coming up generation, I think that we really need to be aware of how things are going or else who is going to be there to manage the wildlife or take care of the earth? Yeah, well, that's, that's kind of what I mean. And I think uh, we buy our meat now on a wrapped package on a white styrofoam tray with cellophane over it. And I'm glad it's like that, but uh, what I'm saying is that we're losing the link that something had to die, and we don't like death. We're trying to put it out of our lives, and, uh, and, uh, but the problem is it does exist. It's still a part of life. So most of us, when we look out into the outdoors, we don't think of starvation or disease. We see healthy animals running around, and we just we want them to be free to run around, and we don't want to intervene, and we don't want to intervene into nature. But as, as I've already mentioned, we already have. And to turn our back on it now and let disease and starvation be the determining factor, the numbers that we have in, is not only inhumane and cruel, but it's, it could be a disaster for some of the species. And that's what I'm concerned with. I never got involved in this in any way because I thought I was going to get rich. I, I love the lifestyle. I love the animals. And uh, the more I learn about them, the more I realize that they're running out of habitat. And that's the biggest concern. It's dear to my heart, and that's why I wanted to bring this part out. 